All right, now time for Nine Circles. This is a level that I've wanted to play for a little bit, or wanted to rebeat, I guess, and just haven't on this account for some reason. And I'm going to immediately go into practice because I do not remember this level at all. But like, this is genuinely just one of the most iconic levels in GD period. I think, I don't know, it's so, it's so good is the thing. It's so original and unique for its time. And yeah, it spawned the whole Nine Circles trend, which some people hate with a burning passion. I love Nine Circles levels. I've always been a massive fan of Nine Circles levels. I think they're great. I think they're super fun. Even if they're not like creative or original or anything, who cares about creativity or originality if the level's fun, right? Essentially super easy pre-drop, kind of difficult wave, and then easy ending. And then this ball I need to relearn too. Okay, so hold on. And I know I've been doing like incredibly easy, I mean not incredibly easy levels, but like pretty easy levels recently. And that's just genuinely because I don't want to spend like 10 hours recording a video. There's a lot of levels I plan to do. Lit Fuse is one of them, uh, Duel on Maestro. I might genuinely see if I can convince one of my boyfriends to do that with me, because I think that'd be a really cute video idea. And also just super fun level. I've never been in it solo. I beat it with a friend a long ass time ago, like 2018 or so. And just super fun, super awesome level. And I think we got an update recently too. This wave, I remember this being hard. What the fuck? This is free. I just, I just did like, four, I just did like half the wave in one attempt. What the hell? This is one of the few parts of the level that isn't really memory at all. No, but I do want to play a bunch of Nine Circles levels, and it'd probably be good because my computer sucks, and they are very, very easy on your computer. Sharp Minor is the big one. Sharp Minor, I got very close to beating after I came back from, like, my three-year break. And then I died at, like, 81 or something, which was stupid. But that's a really, really fun level that is way, way, way harder than this. And I- this is really easy. This might only take me, like, half an hour to beat. Damn. Are other Zobra levels this easy? There's no way Acropolis is this easy. I remember struggling a lot with Acropolis. But I think I just want to go back, do a ton of, like, iconic 1.9 levels, because that is my favorite era of Geometry Dash. That's when I started playing, and that's when I think the game kind of peaked. Also, I don't know why I'm trying to do this whole wave in one attempt, but I, I feel like I can do it. Also, I need to practice the very ending of it, because this level, I do not remember the ending at all. It is, it is so bizarre to me that this was considered so difficult for the longest time. Because I remember, this level used to seem, like, fucking impossible. Like, I took as long when I first beat this level as I did on, like, a lot of the, like, insane demons I beat. And that's it. Yeah, and I, I definitely need to practice that cube. I'm saying this level isn't going to take me long, because I really don't think it is, but now I'm kind of getting scared that this might take me forever, and then I'll be really embarrassed, because I am talking this level down a lot. Okay, there we go. And it's... hold on. And then, yeah, I remember this. And then wait here, there we go, that's the coin. Okay, that was the ending. Let's try this to the end. I'll see if I can do that. And then if I can get this run, then I'll probably just start playing from the start. Let's see if I can get it. Shit, okay, I missed the coin, but that was, what, 60 to 100? That's good. Um, yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna play from the beginning. This does not feel like it's gonna take long. I feel very, very confident going into this. Yeah, okay, this is like, I'm already at the wave. What is going on? Okay, come on, I can get this. Watch this, like, first try after- okay, never mind. But, that was good. Ah, 48. That's good, though. No, but I am, like, really excited to start uploading GM Trash content again. Okay, the lag is kind of hitting me, which is a little annoying. It's probably not because of the level, it's probably just because of trying to record and play at the same time. Which, again, I do not have a good laptop. I need to just play on my boyfriend's computer, because he has an actual nice computer. Also a big one, I want to rebeat Bloodbath, because I really love Bloodbath, and I think... I could within a reasonable time frame. I mean, I, I don't want to say I know the level, because it's been, what, like four years since I've really played it consistently? But I do think that it's very doable. 
I want to beat a bunch of old Crazy Man levels because his levels are just amazing. And then there's some stuff that I've like always wanted to beat, like Black Blizzard is like such a cool level and I'd love to beat that, but I don't think I'm anywhere near that skill level. Like if I do do something like that, that'd be like way down the road. I need to have more time in my life because I just genuinely don't have enough time to play this game that much. Because when I was playing this game consistently, I was a kid. I was in like high school. God, I guess I was in middle school when I started taking this game seriously. That is wild. What am I doing? That's such an easy part. That's like easier than decode wave. What am I doing? That's easy. Okay, 64 is good though. I'll gladly take it. Okay, I am getting frame drops there. That went down to like 52. Why is, like, only the ship lagging, though? Not as bad as Ultra Drivers, at least, and it's significantly easier than- I do think this is a much easier level than Ultra Drivers, now that I'm actually playing it. I just- I don't know, it- it's so- I remember it being so hard. What?! Whatever. I'm gonna eat. I bought this, like, freeze-dried, like, lemon candy from the gas station today. It's so good. I also bought ramen, which is my dinner tonight. So I work at Dunkin', right? And there was this lady that came in today and she was trying to buy like a bag of ground coffee and we sell uh, ground coffee by the pound, right? And she came up to us and she brought this bag and she's like, this is not a pound of coffee. This is 11 ounces of coffee, which like it says a pound on the bag. The bag says a pound. We don't make them. It has literally nothing to do with us. Um, and she she's telling me like, hey, this isn't a pound of coffee. And I, I don't know what to tell her, right? Because like I didn't make it. I have no idea if it's a pound of coffee or not. And I'm like, I, I don't know. It's If it's not, I'm, I'm sorry. We don't make the bags, right? Um, but she, she keeps complaining and she's telling us like, hey, you need to contact corporate right now. Which like, what the fuck does she think we are? We're not even owned by corporate. We're a franchise. But she is like persistent that I like make some promise to contact corporate or whatever. And then my, <laughs> my fucking coworker comes in and she's way bitchier than I am. So she actually starts like getting pissed at this lady just for like giving me shit. And then what she does, she pulls out the fucking scale. She weighs this bag of coffee, the one that she said was 11 ounces. And it says like 16.2 something ounces, right? It's, it's over a pound. And this lady is trying to argue that it's over the pound because of the bag, or because there's, like, something in the bag, or, like, the thing tying it together or whatever. Which, like, what the fuck? What bag weighs five ounces? I don't know. It's just old people drive me insane. We also had, like, a whole group of uh, older people, I think from, like, an Alzheimer's home come in today. Um, and they just kind of hung out in the lobby, which, it was cool. It was kind of overwhelming because there was, like, a million different orders at once. But no, there was a lady there who came with them. It was, like, a little field trip. She had us take pictures and stuff. It was fun. At least it wasn't on a closing shift. I worked morning today. Normally I do close. Okay, Sierra, can you actually pay attention to the level now instead of talking about your fucking job? I died to that again? That's like free. Why? Why? What? That's so easy. Why do I keep dying there? That's like such an easy part of the level. That's insane. Okay, so a while ago when I was moving out, I, like, listed a bunch of stuff on eBay. I mean, I was actually, like, planning on selling it and stuff, right? But I totally just forgot that I had it on there. And I guess, like, some people actually, like, went to go and buy the stuff. And now, like, eBay is, like, giving me a bunch of, like, fees or whatever. Which I feel really bad about, by the way. Because I totally forgot to deliver or actually, like, care about any of that stuff. I just kind of went into a depressive episode for a little bit and just forgot everything. But now, like, eBay is, like, giving me fees or whatever. So if I log back in, like, I could probably still sell the stuff, but I have, like, a bunch of fees. And I just really don't feel like dealing with that. So I've kind of just been like ignoring it and just putting it on the back burner. I haven't sold any of my stuff, even though I could probably still make money off of it. I just genuinely don't want to deal with that confrontation. Because then I have to like talk to people who buy this stuff, who bought this stuff, because it's been like two months now. And I just don't want to deal with that at all. So I haven't been touching it because they can't charge me if I don't put in my card information. Is that scummy? Yeah, it's a little scummy. I feel a little bit bad. Is it illegal? Is it? I don't think so. Maybe I don't put that in the video. That makes you sound like a bad person. What? Oh my, what was that? Okay. What? What? What am I doing? What the, what was that? Okay, I am starting to feel fatigued, so I'm probably going to take a break in a bit. Yeah, I... Dude, that's my thing. I don't have any, like, stamina. I used to have stamina. I used to be able to play this game for, like, six hours on end. You know what? It's break time. Oh, I was watching YouTube my Wi-Fi's out, so it's time for more Nine Circles. What? 
Oh my god, fuck off. I've died to like 69, 70 so many times, and it's so easy. It's not a hard part at all. Really? Really? Are you serious? That? Okay. That is bullshit. I don't even know what happened there. Is it just like the um things being misaligned? That's so weird and so... Like, how did I die there? Explain how I died there. Please, someone explain to me how I died there. I did not press a button. Are you fu- <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, I'm making progress. I'll take it. Oh my god, I died to that? Are you serious? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you fucking for real? Are you fucking... Oh <sighs> my god, fuck! Why am I dying to the pre-trap again? I thought I was consistent with it. God! Oh. oh, that took so long. Holy shit, an hour and 21 minutes? How many was that? 478? Oh my god, that was so much longer than it should have been. Oh. oh my god. Dude. Easy. Shit, part of that's not true. <laughs> um, I really want to call that a medium demon. That wasn't that hard, but out of respect for its legacy, I'll say hard demon. Good ass level. Holy shit, that took forever. That took so much, and I was getting so upset. Like, that is the, the most heated event on a level in a minute. I mean, granted, I haven't been playing this game in a little. I got more upset at Sharp Minor, but goddamn. Ah, oh, good shit. God, I love that level.